when I saw this UPS, um, I automatically thought, you know, I might as well just junk this damn thing because it's it's had um, a fairly um, catastrophic failure, um, which if you were next to it would have probably scared the living shit out of you. Um, the, pa the UPS in question has one of those LCD displays. It's not got a heap of wires going to it, um, so I'm assuming that's just to tell you, I don't know, whether it's doing something or not. The small ones I've seen have a little light to say that, you know, the UPS is active and the power, the, the grid, you know, isn't. So I don't know, um, it's got a little soft button there. So, it's got a chip on film, you know, kind of deal there. Chip on board, yeah. Early in the morning, so, excuse me, chip on board, not chip on film. Um, but the way this failed was really interesting. Um, because at first when I saw that on the back of the board, I wasn't really sure what to make of it. And then I had a closer look and I, I realised, if I grab a screwdriver, that, if the camera ever focuses, that there's this corrosion on the back of the board. It's a friggin' camera. Um, so straight away I knew, well, I figured um, that something acidic had, um, you know, had come into contact with this board. Now I'm not really going to tell you what this UPS was used for because I'm not going to give away the source. Um, thank you very much to the bloke that donated it. He also donated an ABB VF drive which I've done an autopsy on. Um, thanks Ed for the terminology by the way. Very much appreciative. Um, if you don't mind me borrowing your terms. Um, I haven't posted the video yet but um, needless to say um, this was just going to be a straight out, you know, why did it fail, it's interesting, and uh, throw the thing out. But after looking at it closely, I've decided that this thing's probably very likely repairable. Um, the other thing is, uh, not a particularly large UPS, it's only rated to, I don't know, uh, 4 amps. Um, but, however, I looked the prices up. Uh, for this exact model of UPS and knew they're, you know, 375 bucks, which is ridiculous considering there's not much in them, except for that very large multi-tap transformer, um, you know, kind of thing, so... But one of the gel cells has is, is shit itself, and this thing's been mounted up the other way, so it's got that mounting tag on it. Uh, yeah, the tag's just been made, it's not something that's come with it but it's just been um, bolted to the underside of that and it's been mounted upside down so what's happened is and this is the this is the cool part okay it's not really the damage to the board because the damage to the board basically limited to some corroded um, joints there if this camera is going to focus which may or may not mean that under that corrosion there's no copper left I'm not really sure I haven't cleaned it off this is just how I found it if the camera's going to focus would be nice. Um, stupid thing. Yeah, it doesn't like it when you've got something else in the picture. Um, it's obviously flashed that track off the board all the way. So, you might be wondering um, why did it short out and why did that track get um, flashed off the board? And it was actually violent enough that if you look at the underside of this lid here, it's... Um, it's got a deposit on that lid um, of copper and whatnot, and it's fairly unmistakable when you've seen that once or twice. Um, so it's just gone boom, basically. But the reason why I think it's happened, there's usually a soldered joint there in that little, if it's going to focus again, damn thing. It's the scourge of YouTube cameras that won't focus. Right. There's usually um, a pin sticking out through there, which is part of a relay. Um, I'm assuming it's yeah, it's part of a relay, and um, that's going to be the primary of the relay. And these is, these are going to be the secondary, um, the actual switched contacts. I mean, this stupid brain. Too early in the morning for it. The pin's actually been corroded away, and if the camera's ever going to focus, what what's happened is there's a lump of corrosion built up. If the friggin' camera's going to focus. Maybe approach it with it's just flat on. There we go, it's a bit better. Like with this soldered joint here, 
this is a 240 volt sort of sort of area. Um, it's built up a, a hive of corrosion like that, and it's just obviously shorted out these two um, rails, and it's just gone boom. So anyway, if you turn it over, this is how it happened. You can see the transformers copped a bit of acid, but um, it doesn't touch the. It's really not really touched it at all. You know, it's sort of the the front and back of this transformer are clean. The windings look clean, so the transformer's fine. I've I've aimed it up. I haven't got a mega, so I can't test it with a mega. But anyway, um, here we go. This is how it happened. How I believe it happened. The um, negative terminal of this battery has um, has failed for some reason, and even though it's a gel cell, um, it's leaked electrolyte, um, sulfuric acid, out of the negative, and it's um. You can see the end of this. Um, maybe better if I do it this way. Into that, into that spade terminal. Corrosion around it. It's gone down the wire, the cable, whatever you want to call it, and um, it's been deposited all over that board. Nice if I could hold it still, wouldn't it? So, having gone down that cable, get me out my little pointer again. It's um, it's corroded the bottom of that heatsink, which all the transistors are bolted to. It's gone all over that heatsink. It's corroded the, the shit out of this um, diode leg. There's another diode down there it's corroded the shit out of. Uh, which is intact, believe it or not. It's corroded the shit out of the legs of this capacitor. You can see that's just flopping around in the breeze. Probably fall off if I keep doing that corroded the um, base of this resistor. Remember, what's happened is it's run down the down the surface of this board. So that's why if the camera's going to focus again, that's why the top of that resistor there is actually stupid camera. That's why the top of that resistor is um, untouched and the top of that cap it's all gone down the bottom of the board. Now here's, the, here's where it gets interesting. Um, obviously started to corrode out these diodes uh, which are obviously, I'm assuming they're going to be there to clamp the spike of these relays. I'm not sure why that one doesn't have one, but there you go. It's gone under... Um, just empty all this crap off. Mm, don't really want it. I'll just put it down there. It won't hurt, it won't hurt the sink. Um, the acid sort of leaked down here, as you can see by these witness marks. And... Um, the interesting part about it is, the net result was that it corroded uh, that pin of the relay out. If we can get this in frame, it's built up a beehive of, well, you know, just a dog rocket mound of corrosion. And because it's the 240 volt side, it's just flashed over and taken the track out. And you can see where the corrosion would have been because there's missing track. Now the track is missing right where that soldered joint would have been. And there's no logical, uh, no other logical reason why that track would be gone like that, because it could have gone anywhere along its length, but it's gone right next to the joint. So I think that that's what's happened to this um, UPS. Um, so the parts list to repair it is probably going to be um, minimum these three relays, because they've all had acid attack. Um, you know, you'd get away with that one there maybe, but this one and this one are definitely screwed. So you'd, you'd just replace, you know, maybe all four of them. That resistor, that's going to be cactus because it's all, you know, corroded and shit. The cap, that big diode. I don't know if there's another component down there. I don't think there is. Um, this is if I was going to repair it. Um, and also that diode down there. I don't, I don't see anything else down there. I don't see a... Maybe there's a link or something, but... Yeah, I think there could be a link. Not a component, though. It's just, just a link down there, so you have to replace the link. I empty more of this shit down the sink. Sorry about the dirty dinner plates in the video, everybody. So, yeah, there's also a link down there. Um, it's, it's not a component, it's just simply a link. Um, so you'd have to replace the link as well. And... Um, 
I might just link it on the other side of uh, maybe not. I don't know. Not sure. I might just replace the link. I mean, but it's, it's very interesting how it failed. It just goes to show that I guess it's just the smallest failure possible can cause a very big um, problem with some electronic stuff. Um, as for ICs on the board, um, I recognise this IC, which is an LM324N, if this ever wants to focus, which it's not going to, you're just going to have to take my word for it. So we've got uh, an LM324N, which is a quad op amp. Um, be nice if I got hold the camera still. Yep, LM324N. I looked up the data sheet for this, and it's just a microcontroller. Um, it's been placed in a socket, I guess, just in case it blows or something. You can just pop it out and put a new one in. Uh, but there's no real reason why that micro is gone. Uh, I, I think that I think the ICs should be okay because, from what I can see, um, it's gone between the tr the troubles happened between basically where it switches over between the UPS and the um, mains. So. I'll keep you guys posted on that. I, I'm not sure if I'll repair it or not, but you know, there's there's stuff all wrong with it, really. Like the track, well, I can just bridge it with some copper wire. I might just do what I've done in the past and just um, just lay some some wire down directly on the track, and uh, you know, in that kind of a shape, and just solder straight over the top of it. Mm, you might more than likely it have to do the same thing with that. Um, because, you know, it's, I don't think there's much of a track under there. I'd say the track's gone. Yeah, I'd just uh, just a, an educated guess, I'd say that's gone. Yeah, there you go, it's gone too. Um, this may have gone as well. So it's, they're not really that hard to repair damage like that. It's sort of pretty straightforward. These links are going to be factory done. The soldering on it's pretty piss poor. Uh, if I go to that solder joint there, you're not going to see because the camera's never going to focus. Just in case you do, be nice if it focused, wouldn't it? But it's a shit soldered joint if it ever does focus. That's been done in the factory. This UPS has never been repaired, so it's a fairly shit soldered joint. There's a couple more shit soldered joints over there too. The overall quality of construction's just pretty average. It's it's not bad. I mean, I've seen worse than this. The first step would be to, and um, what I normally do is, because in lieu of not having a circuit diagram, I photograph the layout of everything and um, unsolder all the damaged components. And then you would, of course, need um, bicarb soda to, and you know, basically scrub the board so that it's got no acid on it. Um, but yeah, you're going to need to replace relays too. It's got provision for other things. I'm not sure what they're for. Um, God knows just some other IC of some sort and the associated crap that goes with it. It's two capacitors, and don't know, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Don't have a circuit diagram for it, so, oh well.